Well, hi there. My name is David Detman. Now, what we're doing today is we're going to put a series of videos together here, or video clips rather, in this series of things to look for when buying a foreclosed home. This is kind of a, a buyer's beware video, if you would, and uh, there are some common things to watch out for. See, when buying a foreclosed home, you have to understand that the people that were losing these homes had nothing to lose by taking certain items from the home that you wouldn't maybe necessarily take from the home. Now, this is not meant to be the replacement of an inspection. We strongly, strongly believe that you should get a home inspection on any home that you buy. But there are some things to watch out for when buying a foreclosed home. And uh, I'm going to take you through some worst case scenarios and some things to keep an eye out for to see if they're there or if they're missing. For instance, uh, an AC unit, the outside AC unit, very commonly is gone in a foreclosed home because the owner had nothing to lose. Uh, he knew he was losing the house to the bank, but the owner holds title to the property until the foreclosure is all the way through. So it's his right to sell that item if he wants to. So uh, sometimes he'll carefully unscrew it, sometimes he'll you know, cut the wires and, and take it with him um, and sell it to the highest bidder and pocket the money. In other cases, it might be that there was vandalism done by the owner himself out of anger because he was losing the home. So he did certain things to the house to damage certain things. So that's what we're going to show you is what to keep an eye out for. Now, since I just mentioned the AC unit, let's start with the outside AC unit. Now they come in many shapes and sizes and uh, this is what they should look like, 100% intact. You want to make sure that the lines are connected here and you want to watch where maybe somebody has taken and, and cut the line or crimped the line. Sometimes they're angry and they might have uh, taken a pair of pliers or something and crimped this line here or sliced it here so it loses pressure or possibly over here where it goes into the house. Now also on the inside here, one thing you want to watch for is to make sure that everything is inside. Sometimes they've taken the thing apart and it may look like it's whole. You want to make sure that the copper coils are inside. Copper coils are the things that go around. It looks like a radiator. If you know what a car radiator looks like, so you want to make sure that that's there. This, case, this one's all bolted together. So in this case, 100% of it is here. Okay. Now let's go take a look at the well equipment. Now, your typical well here okay, is going to look like this. And it's going to have a submersible pump down inside the well. So you want to make sure that she's bolted down tight because if they took the submersible pump, it'll be open where they could have taken it out. You also want to make sure that none of these wires are cut or tubes are cut here. So in this case, this is 100% intact if you can see how that appears. Now here's your outside well equipment. If you can see what we've got here, the large white container on the right is the holding tank for the water. You've got two pressure tanks, one behind the other there. Sometimes you'll have just one, sometimes you'll have two. That's these right here. This right here is your water softener. And then this right here is what the salt goes into. And sometimes there's an additional pump up there as well to watch out for. So this is a complete system where all the components are here on this particular well setup. Now we're in the garage, and what I'm going to talk to you about here is the water heater, okay? First of all, I want to make sure that the water heater is still there, and that's still connected. This particular water heater comes with a pressure tank on the top. Some have pressure tanks, some don't. Just because you don't see one doesn't mean it's incorrectly installed. It just depends on that particular home and what it needed in order to get set up. So you want to make sure that this power line right here is intact and not cut. Now, these are not cut or missing here. And of course, if the tank is there. Some homes are going to have what's called instant hot water. And that's a box about this big that's bolted on the wall in place of that. And that instantly gives you hot water throughout the house. They're really, really neat. A little more expensive than these and more energy efficient. Um, if all you see is a bare wire coming out of the wall and nothing there, that's uh, obvious that somebody took something. So this is what it should look like. Now here is our electrical box, okay? and you want to make sure that all this is intact here, that somebody didn't rip this apart up here, and the panel is on, and then you want to open it up and look, 
Make sure you've got all your breakers here. I've seen some cases where the owner or builder, whoever had the house before, took several of the breakers out with him. Or in some cases, the front was missing and the wires were cut. As you can see, everything is 100% intact here. So keep an eye open on that as well. Now this is the air handler. For those of you that are from no up north, you're used to it being called a furnace. Down here in uh, Florida, it's an air handler. Now there is an electric heating coil inside, so we only have a few days a year you have to turn the heat on. This is primarily for the flow of air throughout the house for the air conditioning system, but also does heat your home. Now you want to make sure that this is here. There are also cases where this has been missing completely out of the house. So on an original inspection, this looks like it's here and it's intact. But I want to zoom the camera back here, so watch this. So we start to see some problems in this home here. Some telltale signs right away come into view. Up here, the ceiling has been cut open. So I want to find out why. Upon a little bit further inspection, we notice by zooming down that there's something that seems to be cut right here at the base of the air handle. Well, I'll tell you what this is. This is the copper tubing here that ran out to the AC unit on the outside of the house. So if you look a little bit further, you're going to see as we back up and pan the camera a little bit, you can see fragments on the ground here from where that line that runs out to the AC outside has been cut. So it used to run up in that hole there out to the AC. On just an inspection on the outside, you may remember that that line looked like it was 100% intact when in fact up in the attic it has been cut and cut here as well. So that's an item that's going to need repair. Now we want to find out what's really going on in that attic up there because if that's ripped down, we have to look for any other signs of damage as well. So let's take a look up in the attic and see if there's anything else wrong. Okay, here we are in the attic. Now one of the things we want to look for is, did anybody else do damage? Well, we already know that the copper tube is cut. So that brings to mind, did they cut anything else, like maybe some wires? So we're going to take the camera here, and this light, and you can see, we can see quite a bit up here in this attic. Okay. And we can see where the wires are intact here. But we're going to come over here, and if you notice, we've got a bunch of wires that are cut right there. So what we're going to do is continue to pan to the right here. Now what we're going to be coming up to is the top of the electrical box. Now I'm going to zoom in here so you can see what I'm seeing. And what you see here are all the wires that are coming out of that electrical panel in the garage that appears to be fine. They're all cut straight across. All right, do you see what I'm seeing there? Every single one of these is a nice clean cut. Now what this is is a simple sign of a builder who was just about ready to sell a house and he was angry because of what the market was doing, so he came up here to cut wires. So he sliced those off right there, as you can see. Went over here about five feet away, sliced those off, and he actually went back here a little ways so you can't see so much and cut some wires back there. So what you need to do is an inspection in the attic to make sure that if you see something like those cut over there, that uh, they didn't cut them and how far they cut them and what more damage they do. We can see right here, there's the electrical cable for the air handler cut. But over here, all the other wires seem to be intact. Okay? So that's just something to watch for. So, let's go back down. Alright, now, I do want to tell you that we just had an electrician here on this particular property. And when you see stuff like this, this should not scare you. There's a reason the properties are priced the way they are. And these are problem properties. If you want a brand new house, you would go buy a brand new house. We're filming this from what is a brand new house, but it's priced as a bank repo because it's going to have a couple of problems. Just so you know, the electrician that we just had here said that he can take apart that box, rewire everything up through there, junction box everything out properly, up to code, and the total bill would be somewhere between